Hey folks, it's Abby and today I'm going to be showing you my reading journal and a little bit of my bullet journal. So in previous years these have been the same thing inside of one book. This year they're in two separate books. Uh, one is a Leuchtturm and the other one is just a reading journal that came in an Illumicrate book box. So let's get you switched around looking down at the desk and take a look at them both. So here we are, like I said when we were around the other way, this is the Leuchtturm and this is the journal that came in from Illumicrate. So I'm going to start with the reading journal because that's what most of you are going to be interested in. And the quote on the front says, How dark the night which stretched before us, yet ablaze with the light of the moon and stars, it felt as bright as day by Su Ling Tang. And as you can see, this is very much my journal. This is a Ghibli Umph sticker, I love it. And it's my reading journal. So this is my spread for my 2023 TBR shelves. In other words, these are the books that are on my physical TBR at the start of the year. I will be doing a video for this, so if you want to see what books are in here, then you can check that out in the cards up there. Um, the reason I haven't written them in yet is because I can't be asked. this is going to take forever. So this is the one thing that's left unfinished. Then I have my reading goals and the fact that I want to read at least two authors of colour each month of this year. So my reading goals are to read more of Lord of the Rings, to take part in the Don't Forget Your Towelathon, to read 50 books to get my physical TBR under 100, and to keep up with the Goldsboro books that come in each month. The Authors of Colour, pretty straightforward, I want to read two non-white authors every single month at a minimum. Last year and the year before I did one non-white author a month, so I'm trying to improve on that and get that up and up and up each year. Then we have two quite blank looking spreads so far. This one is for my These Books Will Shelf Destruct, and this one is for my 12 books in 12 months. For the These Books Will Self Shelf Destruct, you can check out the video over here. They're books that will be getting DNF'd and removed off of my shelves if I don't finish them in time. This one I put on my Instagram stories and it is 12 books that I'm going to be reading within this year that were suggested by my friends. What I'm going to be doing with these is I'm going to be getting the covers printed out and cut out and as I finish them they will be stuck in, which is why it is blank for the moment. Then we have my 2023 book bracket, so I loved doing this on my Instagram in 2022 and I wanted to bring it into my reading journal this year. So this will be the best book that I've read out of each month and they then battle and face off until we reach the overall winner of 2023. Then we have my year-long kind of readathons. This one is kind of because there's not enough books to be a year-long, there's only six. The Don't Forget Your Towelathon, it is the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series, and so I decided to draw a little image from each of the books, which I've not read before, so if they are not thematically correct I apologise. <laughs> but yes, a theme from each of the books is on there and I will colour this in once I've read it. And this one is for the Total Bollocks Book Club. But these are all of the prompts, a sneak peek if you can manage to read that there, of what we're going to be having for the entire year, and also who the main host and, very faintly, the co-hosts are going to be. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to doing this. This is going to be hosted by Hannah from Letter M, as well as Hannah from the Bookworm Feast, Lizzie from Bombadil's Bookshelf, and Celine from Stuff Celine Does. We all need to stop changing our names because I keep getting confused. I'm just very dumb. But yes, we will all be linked down below there. Uh, and also all the people who are taking in the Don't Forget Your Towelathon, which I think also includes Becca from Comic Book Sanctum and Ali from Fuck Knows What The Hell Her Channel Name Is Now because she keeps changing it. Link down below. Then the new books that come in. So this is the same as my TBR shelf, just for the books that arrive in 2023. None have arrived yet. I don't think I'll fill up this entire thing, but just in case I do, it is here ready and waiting. And then we get into January, so as you can see I filled in this and I haven't filled in this. I just I haven't had time, I've been trying to fill and like actually set up the journal. So yes, this is my January TBR if you'd like to see the video. But so I've got Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Silver Under Nightfall, Black Eyed Susans, Clara and the Sun and City of Last Chances. And this down here is the two chapters a day that I'm reading with Olivia Savannah for Le Miserable. And then this is going to be my pages that I've read each day. I've not really read much so far this year, it's just been Les Mis, so there's not too much to fill in here in any way. And then I'll put the corresponding colours that I'm going to colour in, and the title of the book. And then the last one so far for the reading journal is then my stats. This is just for January, so my January stats and my January ratings for the books that I read. Obviously these are blank because I haven't read anything yet. So a very quick little glance through my reading journal. I'd love to know if you guys do any different sort of spreads for your reading specifically. I have done different ones in the past and played about with it, but this is what I was wanting to try this year and obviously I can still 
add more spreads if I want to, they don't all have to be at the front. And then we come to the Leuchtturm. This is my general journal for the year. I have had Leuchtturms for a little while now, I really like the brand and I get it as one of my Christmas presents. This is my main Christmas present from my parents this year. So we open it up and I haven't filled out the information page which is handy for this and I also haven't filled out the contents page yet <laughs> but hey ha. And then the next page I'm going to have to get something to cover up. So first up is a very basic cover page, I will be adding to this as the year goes on. And then I have my year at a glance which is being held weirdly like this because there's stuff written on both pages but I have the months down here, uh, the dots are birthdays and the circles are other events and then the events are mentioned on the side here. And I've got the exact same thing for 2024 sitting there. And then here are birthdays just to show you kind of how it's laid out. It's little, there we go, little boxes. <laughs> with the month highlighted at the top, the dates and the individual whose birthday is linked along the side, January down to June, July down to December. Then the page that I am least happy with, and that is my resolutions page ironically, uh, I really really do not like how this came out um, so I just tried to make it cluttered <laughs> to distract the eye, but I am looking forward to my resolutions so I'm going to learn to drive this year, I've been taking lessons since about the middle of last year and I'm looking forward to finalising that up and actually having my driving licence and I want to find a regular exercise because I really got out of the swing of things in the past year. And then two things that I want to purchase, one is I want to build a PC with the help of my partner and the other one is that I want to buy a bike. And then this page here is how I track all of the TV and film that I watch. I do not watch a lot of stuff on telly or at the cinema. I did this same thing for last year, I think the same amount of things and for the entire year I only got to about here-ish. So we really don't watch a lot. <laughs> one series will be like one ticket and then one film's a ticket. Uh, one season of a series, sorry. So yeah, I, I don't watch a lot to the chagrin of my partner, but this is where I track it when I do. Then on to some health related ones. Here we have my migraines. I've mentioned a million times. I have chronic migraines and I have to track them for my neurologist. So that's in there. And then this is just me trying to be a little bit healthier. I have put on weight in the past year. Nothing that I'm overly bothered by but I am starting to not fit into my clothes and I don't want to have to buy new clothes so <laughs> um, I'm gonna check my weight so this is my goal the weight that I'm starting at and then three months, six months, nine months and twelve month check-in. Strength I'm not sure how I'm gonna track that yet I am very weak I have another medical issue and then stomach this is just going to be the measurement of my stomach it's something that for my personal body shape is quite indicative of my size and so i don't want to just rely on my weight because the weight doesn't matter too much then we have my stats so i track the stats that i have for my social media they're all linked down below if you want to see them but we've got youtube tiktok instagram and twitter and my blog on wordpress if you see the little uh, black markings for the side here that is where i'm starting from so we'll see how that ends up. Another spread that I really don't like but I don't know how to fix until I've like actually filled it in. I am really bad at cooking, I hate cooking, it's something that causes me a lot of anxiety and so I'm going to be cooking 12 dishes this year all by myself. My partner does the cooking and I do the cleaning, don't worry, I don't leave him to do everything. <laughs> but yes, so I'm going to be cooking 12 dishes all by myself, trying to do something that isn't just very basic like uh, you know fresh pasta or spaghetti something like that I want to do something more complex and add it to my repertoire and then I fill it in when I've done that then tourist time <laughs> so this empty one here is I am going to be going to Sverdiga at some point in 2023 very very excited need to plan it so this is my planning space uh, I'm going to be hopefully trying to visit Veronica from Veronica's Shelf, but girl you live in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and then also my friend from my masters who lives in a much more central location so that will be a lot easier to get to. Um, so we just need to plan that out, plan how long we're staying and things like all of that, all the holiday stuff. So that will be this page, it has not been filled in because we have not planned it yet. But this one, there will be very few of you who will be able to recognise it from here, but that is York. That's the Minster which is probably the main one that people know. Um, and so this is where we live, me and my partner, we live in York and we want to try and be a bit more touristy and use the things that are in the city centre whilst we're living in the city centre because we won't be here forever. So this is just a list of things that we'd like to do and their cost. The ones that have nothing against them I think are free but I want to double check before I put like a little line um, to indicate no cost. So yes, 
holiday touristy things. <laughs> then we get on to January and I'm just covering up this bottom section here because this has some more birthdays in but yes this is my month at a glance. I put things in as and when events occur. No events have happened yet thank the lord uh, but they'll go in there uh, and like my mum's birthdays down here as well and then I like to write out one good thing, one positive thing that has happened today. Um, as you can see I haven't filled it in yet uh, but I am able to kind of go back and retroactively fill them in and I like to do that just to kind of try and keep a positive outlook on things. And then this, these are my jackets. So I've covered this bit up here because some of these are personal um, and then these ones are fine. Um, but yeah so these are the things that I'm going to be tracking as and when I do them. So for example housework. Uh, I have ADHD, if I don't have something to like keep a track it will not occur, so housework. <laughs> the final page is the to-do. So as you can see there's barely anything on here, I've had a very chill start of the year and both bookmarks are in here because I'm not sure where I'm going to put them yet. There's nothing else in here, it's all empty, ready and waiting for the rest of the year. So yes, these are both of the journals that I will hopefully be using for the entirety of 2023. I'm excited to dive into them and let you get you flipped back around to face Abby. So what do you think? I tried some new things this time. I like some of them, I don't like some of them, but yes, it was fun trying something new at least. It's always fun to be creative at the start of the year and I'd love to know, do you guys do any sort of journaling or any sort of tracking like that that isn't just on Goodreads, Storygraph, things like that? please let me know down in the comments below. If you'd like to see how the bullet journals develop over the year, then please do hit subscribe. All of my details and all of my other social media are in the description down below, and I'll see you folks in the next video. Bye!